Many people are impacted by this crisis. Chances are you either are struggling yourself or someone you know is addicted. There's no simple solution, but tonight we have advice from a mom and her daughter. Both are recovering addicts. Valley News team crime and safety reporter Nicole Johnson has our story. I actually OD'd and ended up um, at the state hospital. They committed me for a while, and that's when I... Um, got introduced to Narcotics Anonymous. It's been three years since Jennifer Kraft got her last fix. I started using when I was nine or 10. My parents used and uh, that was how I thought life was. That was how I was raised. I thought it was normal. It took her 14 year old daughter Natasha to say you can't be in my life anymore. We needed a break and she needed a break. From the chaos that I brought into the home. It was extremely chaotic and we all needed it and it's it was really hard though for her not being there every day you know but sometimes that's what it takes you have to be willing to like lose someone to gain them back they say it takes drawing a line in the sand to end an addiction i mean if i hadn't come into recovery there's no way that she she would have found recovery so young if they say okay take them as quickly as you can because in 10 minutes they could change their mind. I know people who have saying I love you but I can't watch you live your life like this. I hope people realize that drug addicts are not um, we're not horrible people. We do have a mental illness but when we're using we are terrible people. We will do anything. We will hurt anyone. Anyone including her daughter. Jennifer's biggest fear is that someday her daughter will relapse. She's hoping she won't have to draw another line in the sand. Nicole Johnson, Valley News Live. If you're struggling or know someone who is, there are local resources to help. We have that information on our website, valleynewslive.com. Simply click on this story.